Comrades, uh, brothers and sisters, it's a pleasure to be here this afternoon speaking at this uh, North West UAF conference, both, both from my region, North West North Wales, and also on behalf of the Executive uh, Committee. I think it's, uh, it's, it's vital to uh, run the run up to 2014. I think it's excellent that this campaign has uh, started off early, so we're not we going got a last minute rush, but it's vital that we must campaign to make sure uh, that Griffin and the racist and fascist policies that his party perpetrates no, no longer represent uh, this region in the European uh, Parliament. I think part of that campaign has obviously got to be uniting all, all the trade unions, trade councils the, uh, and the various anti-fascist groups. Uh, I think in Liverpool there's certainly two active groups, both UAF and Liverpool anti-fascists, along with those in the uh, union movement. My union is a proud rapper of expelling fascists from our union. Every time we found that someone was a member of the BNP, they have been expelled from our trade union. And we do that time and time again. My union was also instrumental in the Barclay and Dagenham uh, campaign, which uh, got aside our differences with the Labour Party in that campaign, to actually make sure the BNP lost their seats I was only talking to Darren Rodwell the other week when he was at our union's political school, you know, and he's congratulates the RMT for the work that they've done and every single leaflet that was produced within that uh, campaign, that got the campaign off the ground, which every household was actually paid for by the uh, RMT. When other unions and organisations, including his own party, were lacking on that uh, matter. And as a union, we're taking this issue up with uh, train operating companies to stop them transporting a uh, file racist and fascist thugs around the now railway network. And it's actually despicable of companies like Northern Rail who receive millions and millions of pounds of uh, taxpayers' money. You know, their answer to the uh, problem on the transport network is to run special trains with, uh, you know, to uh, Blackburn, wherever they are, they're demonstrating with a white driver and a white guard. And, and that's, that, that's their answer to the problem. So we're taking that up. We've got Northern Rail. It's absolutely disgusting. They're there uh, the AM. I'm sure it's already been spoken about the, uh, the last time Nick Griffin got left 132,000 votes, and we've got to go out and campaign as a movement to get those 132,000 votes down to uh, rock bottom here in the uh, northwest. And we've got to challenge people in the communities, in our workplaces. There's no good ignoring racism and fascism in the workplace and turning a blind eye to it to drive this campaign forward we've got to confront it and not a, not a, as I said, to, to, to turn a blind eye to it. I think we've also got to look at the austerity and times of social deprivation there's a proven out through history the, the votes for the far right go up. I think if you look at this region I mean I'm, my own view is I include UKIP as a far right uh, party you know, if you look at their policies on benefits, they want to discriminate against uh, those who are non-British citizens and those who are British citizens, for example. And the 2009 election between UKIP, the BNP, and the English Democrats, they got 26.2% of the vote in this region. That's one in four voting for a racist, fascist party. In 2004, which is the previous one, that overall figure stood at 197 so when the massive policy, the, the, the terrible policies of, of austerity have actually increased a 6.5% vote for the far right. And it's about time that the three part, main political parties of capital will all support capital and all support austerity better wake up to the fact that unless they change the direction to start opposing cuts, opposing austerity, standing up for working people, they are going to end up putting the BNP back in the North West as elected MEP. You know, they've got to change their stance. We can do all we can as working class people, put tens of thousands of leaflets, talk to all the people. But I'll tell you what, unless we start having parties in power that represent working class people and not seek to divide working class people, we're going to be in a sorry, sorry state for years to come. So I'll finish on that note. You know, and uh, you know, let's all go out and campaign and stop uh, Nick Griffin getting elected on the uh, day 2000.